Police and EMS respond to a shooting at a business park in the Edgewood area of Harford County. Wednesday, October 18, 2017 in Edgewood, MD. Three people have died and two are injured, the Harford County Sheriff said. Baltimore A man suspected in a workplace shooting in Harford County that killed three people and critically injured two others was in custody Wednesday night after a multi-state manhunt. State and federal authorities located Rowdy L. Prince, 37, late Wednesday in Delaware, the Harford Sheriff's Office confirmed. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives confirmed the arrest occurred in Newark, Dell, without incident. Further details of his arrest were not immediately available. Prince is believed to have shot five people Wednesday morning at a kitchen countertop company in an Edgewood Business Park where he had worked for the past four months. Police said, the five victims were all employees of the business. Advanced Granite Solutions. Prince also is alleged to have later shot another person in Delaware. There's an individual out there on the loose who's committed one of the most heinous acts in our county. We certainly consider him armed and dangerous. Harford County Sheriff Jeffrey Goller said. Goller called the shooting a targeted attack, limited to that business, later in the day. However, police in Wilmington, Dell, said Prince was also being sought in connection with a shooting that occurred around 10.45 a.m. at a used car dealership there. A single victim was shot in the head, but is expected to survive. Wilmington Police Chief Robert Tracy said, he said the victim was shot twice but was alert and identified Prince as his attacker. Tracy said Prince had a prior history with the shooting victim, and that the two men had a beef. Every one of the victims that this individual shot, the victim and the attacker knew each other. Tracy said at a news conference, This is targeted. This individual knew the people he wanted to go shoot. This was not a random act of violence. Harford County Sheriff Jeffrey Goller displays a photo of Rowdy Lobby Prince, the suspect in a shooting at a business park in the Edgewood area of Harford County, M.D. On October 18, 2017, the FBI and ATF were both involved in the search and Prince's information was put on highway billboards from Philadelphia to Washington, D.C., and from Atlantic City, N.J to Salisbury, M.D. Tracy said he believed the gun used in the shooting in his city was the same weapon used in the Edgewood shooting. The ATF declined to discuss the firearm used, but said it had command staff, two violent crime units, and canines that can sniff out spent shell casings on the case. Police did not identify those wounded or deceased in either shooting. The two wounded victims from the Edgewood shooting were listed in critical condition at Maryland Shock Trauma Center as of Wednesday evening. A hospital spokeswoman said, in an interview with the Associated Press, Barak Haba, the owner of Advanced Granite Solutions, said Prince worked as a machine operator. The company said in a statement, Words cannot express our feelings. We mourn the loss of our friends. May God give our friends eternal rest and the families the strength to bear the great pain. Earlier this year, according to a peace order complaint filed in Harford County, Prince had been fired from a job at another granite company after allegedly attacking a co-worker. Another co-worker applied for the peace order, writing that though Prince had not attacked him personally, I do not want to wait until he will. He can also do it to me. Authorities gave a Delaware address for Prince, who attended Newark High School and had 42 arrests with 15 felony convictions and 4 misdemeanor convictions in the state. According to police, a residence in Cecil County was searched as part of the investigation. Goller said, Goller said the first call came into law enforcement at 8.58 a.m. to the business park located on Emerton Park Drive and deputies arrived four minutes later. The Advanced Granite website says the business showroom opens at 8 a.m. on weekdays. Kevin Doyle, 47, 
works as a maintenance technician for Thornhill Properties and was on a job nearby. He was outside getting more tools from his vehicle when he saw people running from the shooting scene. Three guys came running. They were terrified, Doyle said. You could tell this was something big. They were in shock. One of them was crying. They're shot in the head. They're shot in the head. I started to go down there to see if I could help. And one of them said, Don't go down there. There's shooting. Goller said there were quite a few more than five people at Advanced Granite at the time of the shooting. And witnesses are being interviewed. We do not believe that anybody else was involved in this incident. Goller said, Jason Bradfield, 33, a sales representative at the nearby Classic Team Sports Store, said he and four other employees were preparing for the day when they noticed what looked like SWAT officers walking by with guns drawn outside. The sight made him nervous and reassured. He said, we were not really sure what they were doing. Soon after, someone at the neighboring suite told him and his co-workers that there was a shooter in the small business park. Bradfield said, we locked the doors and we are basically on lockdown now. He said at the time, Prince had several prior arrests and run-ins with law enforcement. Court records show, Prince pleaded guilty to 15 counts of third-degree burglary in Delaware in 2003. Among the more than 40 arrests that Tracy, the Wilmington chief, said were on his record, he was also charged with several handgun violations in Cecil County in March 2015. But those charges were later dropped. Tracy declined to discuss the nature of the crimes Prince was accused of in the other arrests. On Wednesday, there was a heavy police presence in the Elkton neighborhood where Prince had the listed address. Police tape blocked off street as armed officers patrolled nearby areas. Neighbors said Prince was quiet and largely kept to himself. In a statement, Harford County Executive Barry Glassman said, Our sympathy and prayers are with the families of the lost and the injured employees in today's horrible shooting. Harford's allied emergency services are assisting the Harford County Sheriff's Office in the impacted families. In addition, my administration's Department of Emergency Services is assisting our local, state and federal partners in apprehending the suspect. Underscore underscore underscore. Baltimore Sun Media Group reporters Ted Hendricks, Erica Butler, Allison Nezevich, Kevin Rector, Jessica Anderson and Christina Cassick contributed to this report. Visit the Baltimore Sun at www.baltimoresun.com.